and you can say to me, Scott, don't take this the wrong way on the driving test day, but I never want to see you again. <laughs> yeah? Hey, welcome to MTP. We are joined by... Smiley. The quiet Smiley. Why are you so quiet, Smiley? <laughs> There we go. There's that beautiful mm. smile. Okay, we did your intensive one earlier. We're going to try and lighten the mood a little bit now. Yeah. It was a little bit ah before, right? Yeah. Okay, so shall we choose a route that we haven't done? Let's have a look at the list. See if we can get something a little bit more like what you'll be doing on your real test. Okay, so you just did a bunch of third exits turning right. We don't really need to do that again. Um, so let's program a route that's going to be a little bit more suitable to your time of the day. Okay, so this should be a bit more like an eight o'clock in the morning test. Yeah. And hopefully the sat nav will stay programmed. Now in the meantime, we're waiting for Gloria to make the route for us. I'm going to start our mock test the same way a real driving test would start. Nothing too tough. Just a tell me question. <laughs> Okay, um, would you be able to tell us my most favourite question? I'm going to change it now. Uh, the foot brake. How would you test to see if the foot brake was working correctly? The foot brakes. Yes, please. Yeah, if you switch on the engine mm -hmm. and you press down the foot brake, it yeah. will not feel. Uh, spongy, that's love. Super answer, yeah. thank you. Later we'll do the show me question yeah. on the move. Um, let's try and wash the rear window quickly while we're stationary. Yeah. Yeah, good, that's the front one. And the rear one. I'm not sure about the rear one. Uh, sure about the rear one. We got a little splash from the camera up there. Yeah. The rear one is a twist. So we're just gonna twist it towards your body. That's it, and that washes oh, the right. rear one. Okay. okay. Yeah. Right, I'm just going to give a little spit shine on the camera up there. Because ah, it's got a little, little drips. No, 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 no. It's fine. Just a tiny. It's my OCD mainly, okay? You are very clean. <laughs> there we go. Just gave you little guys a polish. Okay. When you're ready you're and it's safe. Clean. Well, it's nice, isn't it? It's an office space, really. Yeah. Uh, sat nav is set. So what we're going to do is we're going to try the independent drive like a real test from the very beginning as we leave the test center. 80% chance of having a sat nav on for your driving test. It does look like a spaghetti junction coming up here. I'll let you know that when we reach the roundabout, I believe we're going to be turning left. Yes, first you exit. You will arrive at, the at your destination okay. at 1.39pm. Yeah. So the sat nav will hopefully give you the direction, but just to let you know, at the end of the road, turn left, mandatory, because you can see the signs up there anyways. Yeah. And then we'll approach the Willow Tree Roundabout where I'd like us to take the first exit, turning left. The sat nav will give you the direction. Yeah. If you're not too sure, ask me, ask your examiner if it's safe, we'll help you with the direction. Otherwise, when you're ready and it's safe, drive on, follow the sat nav, and I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. No problem. Make sure. Okay. All clear. After 50 yards, turn left, Willow Tree Road, then Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, A312, the parkway. Very good position here at the end of the road for your left turn. Nice observations, good acceleration, and turning left. First exit. Very good mirrors. Go left on the roundabout and take the first nice exit, A312, that was good. the park way. All right, then good mirror keep checks. Left. Nice roundabout. Signal can be a bit fidgety it's fine you did signal left it just switched itself off so sometimes if it does we might turn it back on and then other times like our previous test if anyone wants to watch that. after 800 yards 
keep playing. It may stay on, so we want to cancel it. And for everybody that's joined us, I didn't mention this on our first video, but if you're here for the results, please skip to the end. We'll be just giving general tips and uh, you know, saying some good stuff about the driving as we go. But if you want all the driver thoughts, they'll be at the end. Just like us to take the next exit coming up on the left, please. After 300 yards, keep left, then go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. So it's just this exit coming up here on the left. Thank keep you. Keep left, then go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. And Gloria's just given us some information there. Did we hear her? Turning right on the roundabout. After 300 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the third exit, A4020, that's Bridge Road. It's the third exit turning right. Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. Good choice of lane. So if we're turning right, we'll use the far right lane. The road markings as you go round will say Uxbridge and they will direct you to the third exit towards Uxbridge. This is the Aussie Garvin roundabout. This is the one roundabout we haven't done today. This one? Yes, and this is the largest roundabout out of the four big dual carriageway roundabouts. Stinky van, go electric, bro. You can smell your diesel from here. Poof. So we did miss the exit, it's just yeah, here I'm, behind I'm, us. I'm going around. Yeah, we can go around again, that's yeah. fine. Or wherever you feel is safe, okay? Yeah. Nice signal. We don't have a traffic light. Beeping, beeping oh, it's the Tesla. The Tesla didn't wake up. You paid attention. The Tesla just fell asleep at the lights. Uxbridge. So the road markings will say Uxbridge. Nice mirrors. Good signal. Brilliant, smooth steering. Fantastic mirror checks. Satnav will continue to give us direction, so if you could just follow the Satnav. Brilliant. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's that's the one now. I, I was like, we were talking, like um, if you realize that you missed it and you wanna go, you need to signal. I wasn't sure okay. that one. I was like, yeah. oh, how about if my is there? Maybe you would take a fast about that. No, no, they're used to it. Um, yeah. It's very common for us to get a little bit confused with directions to the driving test. It's quite stressful, so they're understanding about that. And they will try to help if it's safe. So no issues there. Um, you stayed safe, and that was good. Nice advice, and well done for following your advice. Oxford Road, Joe Carey Drive. Check your change of speed. Um, nice for you to make your way ahead just to get a little closer to the stop line. Yeah. Ideally, if we can see it, we're too far, we so we we'll go forwards until that it's line disappears, yeah. and then that's a decent place to mm -hmm. stop for the traffic lights. <laughs> Made any plans? Just go for no. cruise. We're drifting over the line. There is a vehicle on your left. Are we going to be turning right? Uh, left. After oh, 800 okay. yards, turn left. Okay, sorry. We are drifting over the line again yeah. to maintain lane discipline. Oh, sorry. But anyway, I do it safely. Okay. Traffic lights, turn left, please. Now the sat nav will probably mislead us a little, so I'm just going to disengage the sat nav. I'll say that that's the end of following the sat nav for me, and I'll give the directions just for the time being. We'll most likely do some independent driving with following the signs a little later, okay? Yeah.
nice position here, allowing plenty of space for yourself to move off. Yeah. And plenty of room for that bus to get through as well. Good mirrors, good signal, nice distance from the park vehicles. Lovely. That's what we call a meeting situation. It was a very good demonstration of how to do it safely. And the traffic lights, turn right. Right. Hmm. At the roundabout, I'd like us to follow the road ahead, second exit. When it's safe, I'd like you to show us how you'd wash the rear window, the back window. At the roundabout, follow the road ahead. Any need to stop? Yeah. Any need to stop? Um. Yes, because of the car. Uh, who do we stop for? Roundabouts? The, uh, the one on the, no, the one on the right. So did we need to stop? No. Okay. They need to stop for us. So be careful because we have a vehicle following us very closely and they can also see that we didn't need to stop. Yeah. The mini roundabout, follow the road ahead. This is a chance of redemption. Yeah. Early vision, early decision. If you just find a convenient place to pull up on the left. Oops. <laughs> when you're ready, yeah. let's. Uh, yeah? Um. So that's all the back window, yeah. the twist. Yeah, no, I want to, to turn, turn off the front the... one off. Yeah. Push the lever to the sky. No. Just to the, to sky. the sky. Yeah, not towards your body. You're pulling it towards your body. So, so the sky just, is that way. Yeah, just up. Yeah. Just up. Let go. Let go. So when you were pushing up, yeah. you were pulling in. You were going diagonal. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So it's just up. When you're ready and it's safe, I think we'd wash the back window earlier, so I'm, I'm happy. Yeah, we did. Uh, we do have yeah. the back window wiper on as well, so just have a look at the twist bit at the edge of the stick or stalk. Yeah. Can you see it's on int for interval? Oh, yeah, just turn it off. off. Oh, there you go. Lovely. Yeah. Take your time. When you're ready and it's safe, drive on and just follow the road ahead.
at the junction coming up would like us to turn left, please. Sometimes they might indicate left and they are not going there. You end up correct. Fury test question Do we A turn out into the main road when we see them signal or B no, wait I'll, until, I'll wait we until, we until see they, them they turn. turn? Yes, correct answer. Yes, fine, yeah. yeah, looks like the clouds are coming in. What happened? I did, yeah. Not a good look for the van driver. Roundabout, follow the road ahead, please. So we're not glancing, we're staring. Yeah. So you're actually going on the pavement. Oops. See that bit yeah. here? Yeah. So just one second, one second, yeah. one second, one second. Number one on, uh, oh, number two on our list, sorry. Number one's planning. Yeah. Okay, we're going to start doing some independent driving again, following the signs. So you'll see a sign coming up in the distance, say Greenford. The road markings will say G Ford, just to help you with the road markings, abbreviation of Greenford. Yeah. So if you wouldn't mind just following the next sign to Greenford. Now notice we are driving over these lines. Can you see the line here? The bus lane line and yeah. the zigzags? Yeah. Why are those lines there? Are they to drive on or within? Um, inside. Inside, yeah, so you notice okay. we're going on them again. We must stay inside. inside yeah. Greenford, third exit, turning right. Mm -hmm. 
lovely. And the road markings will say G Ford for Greenford. Let's show you a different way of coming back to the test centre. We haven't gone this way together yet, so this, this bit will be new. And we're just kind of making our way back around to the test centre now, so it won't take too long and we'll be finished. Traffic lights coming up. I'd like us to turn right, please. Can we see any road markings for right turn? For right turn. Mm. Uh, I don't know. Okay, how do we okay. turn right? Turning right here. Okay, here. Here? Yes, I have a look at the road markings in the middle. Can you see them? These These lines. Are aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Do you feel that's fair? No. Okay, now the examiners will say that we must see them. Yeah, okay? But, but you can't. I agree. Yeah. So maybe the council could get a bucket of paint? Put some fresh lines there to help road safety? Yes. You can't. I, I couldn't see anything. Like some of the markings in the pinna, you can't see as well. Yeah, that's very common all yeah. around Europe. Oh, sorry, UK. I'm not going to get Europe involved in this. All around the UK, very poor road markings and mm. signs behind trees yeah. or signs behind signs. However, they seem to feel like it's safe for this and the examiners would agree so we've got to see the invisible road markings and the signs behind the trees yeah. so bring your x-ray glasses and ask the council if they can come out for bucket paint <laughs> I don't know what else to say <laughs> I would paint the road markings personally myself, but then I'd get arrested. Exactly.
we are sort of swerving as we drive straight. Notice that going to the yeah. centre line and then before we were near the pavement, weren't we? Yes, yeah. How can I help you to stay straight in the lane yeah, and not... Yeah. yeah. At a roundabout, turning right, third exit. Notice we're swerving left into the left lane. Yeah, it's two lanes as we approach the roundabout. We just use the left you said one. straight. Um, why are you sitting right? Did you say straight? I told you to turn right, third exit. We swerved from the right to the left and then went straight with a right signal. Turn left for me, please. Thank you. Might be able to do a manoeuvre down here, actually. These things have a funny way of working out. And let's see how it goes. Possibly a dead end. Oh, wow. We found a secret car park. I don't think wow, we're really going to be allowed to go in there, though. No, All right. Would cool. you just take us to the gate here on the right and then just stop us by the gate and we'll reverse back after? And that should be fine. Thank you. And then if you just reverse us back towards these yellow cones, these little yellow cones just here. Now remember, for safety reasons, before we start to reverse, oh yeah, you do here. And the yellow cones, what direction are the yellow cones? You see them just here on the camera? So just reversing towards the yellow cones, please. They're here also on this left mirror. Lovely. Okay, doesn't look like there's enough room in here to do any yeah, maneuvers. Yeah, them as well, they no space for them to come back. So we'll turn right here, just to approach the roundabout once more. And at the roundabout, I'd like us to turn left, first exit. Uh, just before we do the roundabout, how many lanes are there approaching the roundabout? One or two? How many lanes? Yeah, how many lanes are there here? One. Good. Yeah. Now, if we have a look at the opposite side, there's also two lanes over there. Yeah. Which if way are we going? We're turning left, first yeah. exit. So just using the correct lane to go to the correct destination. Lovely. Thank you. Notice how we're going very close. Did you hear the drain? Yeah, the drain. Yeah. yeah. So it's happening again, look. And then we go out and then we come. It's, a, it's like a weave. How can I help us to stay in the center of the lane and stay straight? So we don't hit the pavement and we don't go over into the oncoming traffic. Remember, you're the teacher today. So what would you teach me? Concentration? concentration? Okay, cool. Yeah. Let's see if that helps. It's looking good actually. Pretty central, equal distance from the pavement, and the center line. So we're very central in the lane. Perfect. Okay, we're almost back to the test center. I'll give us the directions as we get closer and then we'll finish off with the manoeuvre. So at the end of the road there'll be two lanes. I'd like us to keep to the right lane behind the Tesla. And then if it's safe I'd like us to emerge to the right lane on the new road. Lovely, thank you very much. The test center shut today. We do also need to do our maneuver. 
So would you take us into the car park by Starbucks, please? Thank you. Nice signal to help the vehicles know where we're going to go. And now straight ahead. Thank you. And a roundabout, turning right. Third exit. Lovely, good mirrors, good signal. Position's a bit in the middle. Can you see the center line? Lovely, so we're just trying to hold the lane discipline. Any vehicles on your left? Because we're going left, aren't we? Yeah, no, we're going right now. Ooh, okay. Oh, very close to the pavement there. Now we're over into the oncoming lane. Oops. Wow, big weave, huh? So we need to hold that position, that lane discipline, because we're weaving across. Yeah. yeah. Almost hitting the pavement and into the oncoming cars. All right, lovely. What I'd like to do here is a forwards bay park. Any bay, choose a bay, drive forwards into the bay and finish between the lines. Good luck. It looks full now. Okay. We can take us where you feel is a little quieter and we can try a bay park there. You're looking a lot to the right. Have a look yeah. to the left. No. Uh, okay, let me go that end a bit. Going out into the opposite side of the road here a bit. Try and keep that lane discipline. Yeah. Lovely. So we do have quite a lot of empty bays here. Any bay, just like us to drive forwards. Yeah. Forwards Bay Park. No observations before reversing. Lovely observations, very nice, safe. Okay, can, do you mind if I can start again? Sure, yeah, we're allowed to do that for the driving test. As long as we finish the maneuver within three minutes, so I think we've got probably a minute spare. A minute? Yeah, One. we've gone around the car park a bit, haven't we? Looking for a parking space. <laughs> we had plenty at the beginning. We could have just gone straight into one of the bays, but I know you love this car park, so I'll just let you take your time. must be the first aisle so we're not allowed to go over that line into the second aisle we must stop here yeah okay I need to see those blind spot checks before the reverse again very important really twist break the neck look behind the red car just to see if there's any traffic or pedestrians quite a lot of pedestrians in the car parks normally Nice reversing straight back. Recommendation, going as far back as possible until we can see the bay in front clearly. 
Once we can see the bay in front, it should be relatively simple to drive forwards into the bay. Again, zero observations before reversing. I'm done. Okay. I'm done. All right, lovely. Would you just push the power button? We'll yeah. power down. Thank you very much. That is the end of our second mock test of the day. It is a tradition around here to ask chat and you. Chat, of course, their verdict, 86%. Um, have said fail. Now, what would you say? Pass <laughs> or fail? Pass. Pass? Mm. Okay. So, I'm going to be judge, jury, and examiner today, and I'll take the heat chat. Don't forget, don't say I don't do nothing for you. <laughs> um, unfortunately, we wouldn't have been successful. It would be a fail. Mm. There's one, two, three, four, five, six major driver faults or serious driver faults. Uh, we've got the Forwards Bay Park, no observations before reversing. We have the steering, where we're swerving in the lane and going over the lane markings. Uh, especially when we came into the car park, when we went round the roundabout. We're turning right on the roundabout. And I said, no turning left, just turning right. So when we're steering left and right to do a right turn, we're going very far away from the circle into the pavement. And then because we're seeing the pavement we're going, holy crap, and we're steering away from the pavement and then going completely over to the opposite side of the road. So if we're turning right, what way do we turn the steering wheel? The right. Yeah, yeah so yeah. stop steering left, right, just right, right. I'm joking because everybody does it, by the way. Yeah. So if anyone's watching this and they're doing their driving lessons, I can put a million pound on it. We all do this. I've never seen anybody that doesn't. Million pounds. Left, right. But we're turning right, so just turn right, okay? And then that will avoid the pavement and keep us more into our lane. Uh, we have the move off safety. Uh, again, we need to do observations before moving away. So just make sure we do our six point check. Really twist, really break our neck. Look over our shoulders. We pulled up on the left, we hit the pavement. Remember? You went, oh! <laughs> because we banged into the pavement. All right, road markings. We had the invisible box junction for turning right. I mentioned at that point, the road markings are invisible. Get the council out for bucket of paint. I'm sure it's not gonna break the bank. Let's put some nice fresh lines there for road safety so that learners know and other road users know yeah. that there's actually a right right lane with a big right only arrow in it for turning right only. We were in the middle lane, which was a straight only. So we actually mm. prevented the traffic behind us from going straight because we were in the incorrect lane due to the mm. invisible road markings. The final uh, serious driver fault here is for undue hesitation. We arrived at one of the roundabouts, made our plan at the roundabout, not before, even though we had the directions early, and we stopped at the roundabout to think, what are we gonna do next? Where are we gonna go? There is a vehicle behind us, which can also see there's no reason to stop. So if we're stopping at the roundabout and there is no reason to stop, we might hear bang. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So make sure we do early vision, early decision, and plan early. Number one on our list, planning. Number two, glance, glance. which will help you for the steering yeah. uh, serious driver fault. So we might be looking somewhere too long, and this can cause us to lose the lane or the position. Yeah. And then That's finally, the we've got to plan early to make yeah. sure that we're not getting to a junction and going, no. Yeah. Oh, where do we go next? Yeah? Yes. Any questions? No question. Are you sure? If I have a question, I'll ask. Okay, cool. But at the moment, I don't have a question at the moment. So that leaves me to just say yeah. thank you so much. 
I know I have a tone problem for everybody watching this and thinking, geez, Louise, what's this guy on? Um, don't listen to the tone, listen to the words. I am trying to be as polite as possible. And I apologize if I come across sarcastic, dry wit, and have a funny tone to my voice. I don't mean it, okay? I'm here with good intentions to try and help you to pass first time. I can't see, I can't see tone, pro tone problem. No? Okay, all right, that's nice, because I hear it in my own voice when especially when i'm doing my editing which mm. hopefully i won't need to do too much anymore and um yeah so i kind of cringe at myself quite a lot to be honest so if i come across like that it's not intentional i'm a work in progress i'm just trying my best to get you guys to get through this test yeah pass this test and then you can say to me scott don't take this the wrong way on the driving test day but i never want to see you again <laughs> yeah and I could understand why. All right. So thanks again. And to everyone that's joined us at chat, casting their verdict as well. And for everybody that's joined us on YouTube, um, thanks again. Guys, stay safe. Enjoy the rest of your sunny Sunday afternoon, if it is sunny where you are. And chat, why are you just getting the likes in now? Thank you very much for the gift from uh, Katie there. Um, we're going to sign off. But again, thank you for joining us. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank Smiley's you. not smiling anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we'll get there though. It's exam all right. Fever. It's exam fever. And um, just like I'm a work yeah. in progress, we're all a work yeah. in progress, right? So just this is all an experience. We can take this to help us to pass the driving test. And on that note, guys, like I said, have a lovely day and we'll see you next Thank time. You. Until then, ciao ciao. Um, we'll stay here with you, chat, but that's it for YouTube. Bye bye. bye.